some movies after you have watched it it just leaves you numb i mean you don't know what to say about it and that's what actually bhakshak did to me Hi guys, welcome to Filmy Beat. This is Murtaza Iqbal, and today I'm here to review the film Bhakshak, which has started streaming on Netflix. The movie stars Bhumi Pernekar in the lead role. It is directed by Pulkit and produced by Shah Rukh Khan's Red Chilies Entertainment. Bhakshak revolves around a journalist named Vaishali. She has a news channel called Koshish News. It's a very small news channel, and one day from a source she gets a report which claims that in an orphanage, minor girls are being sexually abused. now how vaishali you know investigates that report how she tries to save the girl forms the rest of the story now before i tell you how the movie is how it has been narrated what the story and the screenplay is i just want to say if you are faint hearted child sexual abuse triggers you and affects your mental health you should not watch this I'll you I'll just tell you about myself you know the movie started and when the first scene comes after that I was like okay I really can't watch this movie ahead but of course as a reviewer I had to and I watched it it's just a very disturbing film you know uh, Pulkit has narrated the movie in a very realistic way he has not taken any filmy route where there is dialogue bazi drama and all this thing is this one is very dark and gritty so for that 2 hours 15 minutes you are in a very different zone you are hooked to the movie screenplay and narration both is very good but you are just hooked to the movie and it just takes you in a very different zone where once the movie gets over you are like oh god i had tears in my eyes at the end there were scenes where i felt bad i really felt that I just wanted to go and slap that antagonist. It was it's, it's like kind of that way. So yes, it's a disturbing film, but it gives a very important message. It's a disturbing but thought-provoking film. That's what I would like to say. Talking about performances, I am so happy to watch Bhumi Petnekar in a strong role after such a long time. I mean, when Bhumi started with, you know, uh dam laga ke haisha then you know there was toilet ek prem katha sand ki aag i i think she was one of the best actresses we have in the industry but you know in between there was a time where you know we really didn't get to watch that strong performances from her but she is back with a bang i have to say bhumi has given an excellent performance and i am really so happy to see her uh, in such a strong character and she has performed it so well I would specifically like to speak about the climax the last scene of the film where the camera is just on Bhumi and nothing much is happening she's just speaking um in such scenes writing and acting these two things play a very important role and writing while writing is good Bhumi holds you for that like just a couple of minutes when she's speaking the camera is just on her there's nothing happening it's just like she's she's walking here with the expressions and she's seeing her saying her dialogues and wow she has just done so wonderfully last time a performance like this that this one scene which i'm talking about like you know just the camera on the actor and a whole monologue last time when i was so impressed with someone was of course the legendary amita bachchan sir he did that in goodbye and after that now i have watched uh, bhakshak and bhumi pedneker has done that it's just amazing i'm really really happy and i think bhumi pedneker has thrown her hat for you know best actress award in the starting of 2024 itself then there's sanjay mishra sir he is wonderful i mean he you, he's just one of the most versatile actors just give him anything and he's going to prove that he is fantastic aditya shrivastava you know jinko humne cid mein dekha hai he is kind of uh, you know we have seen him mostly playing good characters but here he plays the negative lead and he's really bad i mean as i said you are going to start hating him so of course he has performed it so well that you are going to start hating him saita mankar is there in the movie she has a small part but it's a very strong character and she has done it really really well so overall i would like to say this that bhakshak is a very good film but yes it is disturbing it has a good message it's thought provoking but disturbing and clearly one of the most bravest films that has come out from red chilies entertainment 
So well, go and watch it on Netflix. I'm going to give three and a half stars.